So today we're gonna to be looking at Blender's poke tool and how we can use it to do what you see over here. Now this is a crazy modeling technique and it can really add an incredible amount of detail to um, a lot of different items. So you can see here, this is the exact same um, object here that I've just quickly made as an example. And what we've done here is we've made it, so instead of things flowing down and sideways like this, we have a nice curvy topology that crisscrosses. And in doing that, what we're also gonna make in this project, I'm gonna show you how to use this, take it even a bit further, and make a glass, like you can see here, a fancy glass, with this pattern running. And the only way you can do that is um, by having it like this when you extrude things. And we're gonna be using the poke tool. I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this. This is an insane, crazy modeling technique, and it's the one that a lot of people don't know about. So if you wanna learn how to do this and how to make a glass using it, keep watching. I'm gonna show you step by step, and I think it'll be something you guys find very useful. Inside of Blender, let's select all of the default objects and let's press delete. We're gonna go Shift A. Under our mesh options, let's add in a cylinder. And with the cylinder here, we're gonna tab into edit mode. Let's go into our front view and let's just go G, Z. If you hold in control, you can snap to the grid. So let's snap it so it sits on our floor like so. Okay, now um, we want this to be a glass shape. So let's just select these bottom verts and just scale it in a little bit. And let's uh, grab maybe these top verts and just go G, Z, move them up a little bit just to make like a glass shape. Let's go X, let's de delete that top face there. So now we have this cup and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some segments. Let's go to edge select option, control R. You can see there's a loop that appears here. We're using the loop tool. So control R is the shortcut. You can see this yellow line and you can either just left click twice and then you can come here to the loop um, cut and slide and you can drag it or you can just roll your middle mouse button but I'm just gonna go with this option here. So let's go. I'm gonna go with about this many. We just wanted to make these little squares. So I'm gonna go about 15 loops like this, and I'm gonna close it. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our face select option, and I'm just quickly going to wireframe. I'm gonna select all of these faces like so, over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in F3 on our keyboard, and in here in the search, we're gonna type in poke, P-O-K-E, and we're gonna go poke faces. And now it's done this for us over here which is all good, but we still have all of our old edges running like this and like this, 90 degrees from each other. We wanna get rid of those. So let's go over here to our select option, our edge select, and let's select the edges we wanna get rid of. So we're gonna get just a small sample here. So this one here and holding in shift, select this one down here. Now what you're gonna notice here is that these edges, the four here in the middle that go like this are shorter than these ones on the end. So what we can do, if we select this one and this one, so we're gonna press F3, and we're gonna come over here, we're gonna type in select, space, and then type in similar. And you're gonna see some select similar options here. Let's go with length. Now, in my case, it selected these, but if it doesn't do that in your, your situation, what you wanna do here is come to the select similar option, and see this threshold here? Um, you can change how similar you want it to be. So if you bring down this threshold, it's gonna definitely select things that are much more similar to these in length. If you go more, then it is a little bit more open to different lengths. So let's just go make sure this is nice and low. So you can see here, it's only selected these ones here, not these little short segments. And what we wanna do is let's go to our, um, go into wireframe. This is gonna select B, press B on your keyboard. And then if you click with your middle mouse button and you drag over just these ones here, it'll deselect them. And let's do the same here at the bottom. Let's press B, middle mouse button. Let's drag over just these ones. So all we have selected now are these. And now let's press X and let's go over to the option here, dissolve edges. And now it's only left us with these edges running like this. And this looks like a relatively complicated thing to do, but we've done it relatively simple just using these techniques. Now we have this to work with. So what we're gonna do, is let's go to our, our face select option. Let's go into a front view and in wireframe, Let's just select these faces here. And with them all active, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Control B or Command B to bevel them. And let's give them a bevel like this. And let's go about this much. Let's just left click and let's go E to extrude, right click to let go. And then we're gonna go Alt S and scale out along the normals. You can either go in or you can go out. I'm gonna go out a little bit. 
like that. And there we have it. We're now gonna go to our edge select option, deselect everything, shift alt and left click on this edge at the top to loop select it. Let's go E to extrude and Z and extrude it up a little bit. Let's go E to extrude and S to scale. Let's make the top lip of the glass and let's quickly go E to extrude down on the Z. Let's do it again and let's go all the way down, scale it in. Let's press F to fill it and then Control B to create a bevel. And now we've made it inside of our cup. Let's tab back out and now let's go to our modifiers. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. And now it's nice and smoothed out. Let's right click and go shade smooth. And let's bump up the levels in the viewport. So now we've added these details here. Another cool thing you can do. Um, so I've already deselected these, but I'll quickly just select them again. Just these ones here and just deselect the inside quickly. Let's quickly just disable our subdiv surface modifier. If you go control or shift E, if you go shift E, you can add a edge crease to these to tighten them up and let's make it all the way tight and let's enable the subdiv again, tab back out and now that is a lot more defined. So this has been how to use the poke tool to create this really cool looking detail um, and in situations where you want to make like this glass we just made, this would be the ideal way to go about it. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and um, you can see here is another one I made, same sort of thing, just uh, did it a little bit differently but exact same principle. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little tutorial and have fun with your Blender projects. I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.